electrical vehicles are clean energy they form a crucial part of the present and future automotive but electrical vehicles being non linear loads that could affect the power quality of the grid in this project we will study fluctuations in power factor and total harmonic distribution levels when varying number of electrical vehicles that is two wheeler and four wheeler when connected to the power system let's see the project generally electrical vehicles need charging system to recharge the batteries the time taken to charge the batteries are varies for different batteries based on nature materials and electrochemistry of the battery system the charging system will have to keep constant monitoring on the parameters related to the battery like state of charge maximum voltage and temperature and we have different levels of charging based on the output power that the charger can deliver to the battery and those are level 1 charging level 2 charging level 3 charging and rapid charging and here level 1 charging is the most used and slowest method of charging an electrical vehicles and it uses standard 110 by 220 volts 15 amps single phase ac outlet that is common in the most households this can be used at home for an overnight charging of the electrical vehicles and the maximum power output in the level 1 charging is 3.5 kilowatts and coming to level 2 charging this type of charging is the most suitable for private and public places where the electrical vehicles are parked outside the houses and it uses up to 240 volts and 80 amp ac outlet as the power levels of this are very high and separate setup is necessary and the usage of this charging system is limited to the cities and urban areas and the maximum power output for this charging is 19.2 kilowatts coming to level 3 charging this type of charging system is only used for the dedicated stations which can help charge the electrical vehicle in a pretty quick time this is majorly used in highways and rest areas near them and the voltage level of this charger stations are above 480 volts three phase ac and the power output is greater than 19.2 kilowatt and the last category is rapid charging any electrical vehicle that can be charged within 60 minutes that is called a rapid charge the different levels for charging an electrical vehicle already discussed in above three levels a charging system can be called rapid charging at all the power levels actually charging of electrical vehicles does not have the huge impact at the macro level as the power grid will have strong dispatching capability however the uneven distribution of electric vehicles can lead to the peak quality difference that can having a negative impact on the utility grid now let's see how electric vehicle charging stations can impact the power quality of the grid this is the block diagram of our model here i am taking the generation station as cap to power plant and with the help of three phase transformer we are connected to the load and charging station and this cap to power plant is a facility that is dedicated to providing a localized source of the power in an energy user this plant may operate in grid parallel mode with the ability to export surplus power to the local electrical distribution network alternatively they may have to ability to operate in island mode that is independently of the local electrical distribution system and this cap to power plant consists of hydraulic turbine and governor with excitation system and this generator ratings are 200 megawatt amp 13.8 kilo volt 50 h frequency and this cap to power plant is connected to the load through the three phase transformer so the rating of this three phase transformer is 200 megawatt amps 13.8 by 230 kilo volt and it is a delta y transformer and coming to this charging station it consists of first of all rectifier why because we are getting the ac at the cap to power plant because we are using the turbines and uh, generator system even after the transformer also we are getting the ac only but in charging systems we have the electrical vehicles right so electrical vehicles need dc but we are getting the input as ac okay so to convert the ac to dc we need to take the rectifier okay and after the rectifier we need to connect to the buck boost converter because electrical vehicles have a rated dc but in ac you are getting the higher voltages like 230 kW like that but in electrical vehicles we don't need that much of voltage that's why to increase or decrease the voltage we need to use the one dc to dc buck boost converter okay after that we need to give it to the battery this is the basic circuit of the electrical vehicle charging station and here we are taking the lithium 
ion batteries that are designed for two wheeler and four wheelers and for two wheeler the battery rating is 48 volts 24 amp hours and for four wheeler 72 volts 100 amp hours these are the ratings and in our model we are taking total 18 electrical vehicles that are connected to the charging station and for study the above model we are taking the three types of case studies and first one is the model is designed without electrical vehicles and in second case electrical vehicles are connected means two wheeler and four wheelers are connected but with base load so here we are taking the 5 megawatt is our base load and in case 3 same like case 2 evs are connected like two wheelers and four wheelers but with peak load so i am taking 70 megawatt as our peak load and we need to study above three modes and compare the power factor and total harmonic distortion let's see these three models in matlab so first of all i am showing the first mode that is circuit without electrical vehicle so open the matlab this is the simulation diagram for first case here you can see we don't connect the electrical vehicle here we can collect the only cap to power plant transformer and our load and we connect the one rectifier and bug push converter but we don't connect the electrical vehicle batteries that is the case one here so just run the simulation and observe the waveform just click on the scope here then you can able to see the waveforms these are the current and voltage waveforms of the load you can see these are the pure ac nature it have some little harmonics that is due to inherent load in the system that is the case one here you don't get any distortions because you did not connect any electrical vehicles okay now see the second case so this is the second case when two wheelers are connected you can see here ev2 two wheeler vehicles are connected here these are vehicles are two wheeler vehicles okay this is the two wheeler vehicles i already told you two wheeler capacity we already discussed two wheeler load and we are taking the lithium ion battery and everything we already discussed about the values okay so here i am taking the two wheeler in second case with base load so this is the base load we are taking with the rating of 5 megawatts you can see here this is the 5 megawatts rating i am taking so same thing we are taking the cap to power plant with synchronous mission and transformer and this is the load here i am using the rectifier to convert the ac into dc and one bug push converter to convert the dc into dc and our electrical vehicle to turn on the bug push converter switch we are taking the pulse width modulation so let's see the waveform just run the circuit and observe the waveform now open the scope then you can able to see the waveforms so here we are getting the harmonics in our content because we are connecting the electrical vehicles to our circuit okay remember this is two wheeler when base load now just open the same circuit with four wheeler in second case itself we are having the two wheeler and four wheeler okay so we just seen the two wheeler now open the four wheeler this is the simulation model of four wheeler nothing will change just this electrical vehicles are changed here we are taking the four wheeler system so these are the four wheeler system and rating will be changed we are taking the 72 nominal voltage okay so now let's study the this model just run the simulation and open the scope so here also you are getting the harmonic content let's see the how much it is having so just open the power ga go to tools and go to fft analysis here you can get the thd you are getting that 12.44 percent in the when four wheeler is connected at base load now let's see third case with peak load when two wheeler and four wheeler is connected so this is the peak load we are taking 70 megawatts and here this is circuit for two wheeler okay just run the simulation and click on scope here we can see it contains the harmonic content but when compared to base load this peak would have lesser harmonic content you can see here in the waveform now just see the thd click on power ga go to tools fft analysis here you can get we are getting the 6.33 which is lesser than the base load thd okay when two wheel is connected this is the thd now we can see the when four wheel is connected at peak load so this is the third case when four wheel is connected at peak load just run the simulation now see the waveform here also it is having the harmonic content which is lesser that's it these are the matlab model up to now we discussed about the matlab simulation and results now just compare the results and go to conclusion these are the power factor and total harmonic distortion of second and third case so here in first figure you can see this is the power factor when base load you can see if you increase the number of vehicles the power factor is gradually reducing right that is the power factor when base load is connected and coming to second figure this is the total harmonic distortion when base load here this green color indicates the two wheeler and this red color indicates the four wheeler so if the number of vehicles is increasing total harmonic distortion also increasing but when connect to four wheeler the thd will little bit more right so that is the result when four wheeler is connected and coming to third figure this is the power factor under peak load so you can see here when you increase the number of levels the power factor is steadily same but it will increase the little bit right that is the result of power factor under peak load when coming to fourth figure this is the total harmonic distortion when peak load okay here also you can able to see when number of vehicles is increasing 
the TH3 is slightly similar to straight line but little bit increasing. And when compared to the base load THD, this peak load THD is lesser than the base load. That's it, that is the overall conclusion. We observe that in base load, the power factor is reducing and THD is increasing gradually. In peak load, it is somewhat stable. In peak load, it does not vary that much. The graph is near to stable. That's it. This is the effect of electrical vehicle charging and power quality. If you like this concept, just contact me. I will provide the full project with clear assistance up to your submission.